Hello and welcome to Captain Scarlet's Kitchen. Today we're going to uh, annoy the Italians again by making lasagna. Now first, a cup of tea. For your lasagna you shall need mince meat around about 400 grams, either fresh or frozen. Sliced peppers, again fresh or frozen. Onions, again fresh or frozen. Garlic, absolutely fresh. Tinned tomatoes, uh, absolutely tinned. Uh, some concentrated tomato. Salt, pepper, Worcester sauce, mixed herbs. Lasagna sheets, either dried or from the fridge. And for the bechamel sauce or the white sauce, whatever it, you call it, uh, where is it? 40 grams of flour, 40 grams of butter. Uh, oh, there is almost a pint of milk, or 500 milliliters, and uh, some nutmeg. Let's begin. Right, to begin, I'm I'm going to test some uh, something. I've, I've not tried it before. I'm going to try some beef dripping um, for the bechamel sauce. I've got the butter in there. Preheat your oven to gas mark five, uh, which is. Um, uh, 190. Um, finish making your cup of tea because you've just drunk your other cup of tea. I can't multitask, can you tell? And what we're going to do is we're going to fry off some onions. Here is the onions fried, and there is the tea that is complete. So whilst that's doing that, the, the, just pssst. there. Right now we are going to do I think about half of this clove. Yeah, I can't do this one-handed. Be right back. Right, um, that's a bit oily. I'm going to add some 12% beef mince. I can't do this one hand again. Right, that's added. Obviously, um, if it's frozen like this, it will take a bit longer to brown. But we want to brown this. I'm going to turn this down a bit as I want to do like this. So I have a little thing which you just chuck in that. Um, I'm going to do six cloves, by the way. All that does is, it just squash you between your hands, I think. I think you can possibly do that, but uh, yeah. Makes your hands less dark. So, uh, yeah. Roll that about. I then have a squidgy thing, and then I'm going to shove this into there. Right, so after we've done that in the. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to crush this on here. Really not do this one-handed. You get the idea. Press it side by side. That goes through there. You whack it in there. Uh, I'm taking too much time. That's going. That's going too quickly. So uh, yes, we have this loveliness here. Going in there. All right, so I'm losing the lights. Add your peppers. Oh, oh yeah, obviously this is now fully brown, so yeah, I'm going to add that. I'm not going to remove any of the fat that comes out of it, because it's only 12%. If you get lower fat beef, then I would add more butter. If you have higher beef, we'll just leave it in there, it'll be fine. Now, this is all in. Add your tin tomatoes. Spices. Come on, we're going in too slowly. Add your uh, 
blob of tomato, Worcester sauce, spices, salt, pepper. Right, and uh, let this come together for about 10 minutes on simmer. Uh, obviously after mixing in. And whilst this is simmering, we'll do the white sauce. Right, now for the sauce, we need to melt the butter. Right, add 40 grams of flour. Yes, I know it's not fully melted, I can't be bothered. Let's get the horrid risk that doesn't really work properly. And now let's start adding the milk. And apparently add about a third. Then whisk in and just add in as it mixes in, and what you will then need to do is wait for this to thicken. Let's add some more milk. No, you're not solid. Let's add the whole thing. Ooh, it's gone gloopy. I suppose really I should have a fan on. Yeah, so I suppose um, I've done this wrong because I should have. Oh, I don't care. It will come out fine. Keep on whisking this until it starts to firm up. Oh, sad. Bit of pepper. back when this thickens up. But once this thickens up, then we are ready to assemble the lasagna and shove in the oven. Right, so this is starting to thicken up. So what I'm going to do now is add some ground nutmeg. I've also got my pasta out ready. Well, I'm going to use probably about three sheets. These will go back in the freezer. Oh, and yep, that's now picking up nicely. I need three hands. Oh, yes. That should do. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe that's too much. Well, we'll soon see. It should mix through, but I think, yeah, I'll definitely put too much in there, but, um, what have I? You know what, we'll see what happens when it finishes. Well, it would help if I press record, so basically I have slapped this in there. Now, all I'll need to do is, um... Oh! That doesn't do that last time I did that. Blast it! Oh, let's try that again. So, um, I could have sworn these were bigger. You know, it'll be fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that to that layer. So, um, now I need to put that on the top there. So my first layer is like, uh, yeah, okay. I probably should do two sheets, but I can't be bothered. Do not fall over. Put this on top, and drop back. Right, so let's switch this out. Yeah, actually, I might have put too much in the bottom there. Alright, so I suppose in theory, I can do that, and I can do that. Hmm. 
No, I was going to cut round it, but I um, can I do that? Yeah, squeeze that in there. Squeeze that in there. Oh, right, I'm going to put the rest of the... Ooh! Oh no, I don't want that in there. Hmm. Okay. I've not had... Oh, right, yeah. That has come off of there. So I'm missing a plastic bit. Where is that? Well, that's going well. Right then. So let's squeeze the final bit out. Why are you folding up? Do not... It's split as well. Mm, okay, maybe it's maybe it's because it's too, oh, oh right. Okay, so maybe it's because I'm trying to do too many things at once. So any mm, you know what I forgot? Oh, I've got some cheese. Cheese I prepared earlier. I don't have to put cheese on, but I like to put cheese on. Alright, that should be enough. Into the oven! Which I've preheated. And, uh, uh. back in 30 minutes time. Right, so about halfway in, uh, this was a mistake not putting those in, but never mind. Let's swap this around and give it another 10 minutes. And this is out. It actually looks kind of done now, but I'm still going to give it 10 more minutes. So that's it, it's done. You can, de I, I've definitely put too much nutmeg on as um, it just smells like um, rice pudding. So, that's Hmm, that a bit like that. Oh, I've not cut that very well. Get off. There is the finished thing. That's what I'm going to enjoy. Right, now for the tasting thing for. Yeah, the nutmeg actually works, which I wasn't expecting. Probably a bit too much nutmeg, but actually, yeah, it works. Going to enjoy this. Goodbye.